EGOT is breaking to the upside exactly as I had predicted it. So, but um, the question is always now, is this a sustainable breakout and will we reach our technical target or will we fake out and roll over? That is something that I want to talk about with Bitcoin together. Hi, my name is Alex from Iron Crypto and let's jump here straight into the charts. So I'm here on the eGold 12 hourly chart. So, and if you guys remember, I had said yesterday that potentially we are forming here a bull flag and that I would like to see a little bit more sideways action um, until we get up here and break out. So, but now we actually got the breakout here on the 12 hourly chart. Let me put this into a four hourly chart. So here you see what I was talking about yesterday. I was talking about here when we were there that I would like to see an upwards move and a little bit sideways and then a breakout. And that is exactly what happened here right now. So and when we are measuring again the technical target, then we see that this breakout should bring us to close to three hundred dollars. Uh, yesterday it was like two hundred ninety six, two hundred ninety seven. Uh, around this level. So between 296 and $300, there should be our technical target. So, um, then we have still another target lining up here. And I was also talking about this. So for this, I will go qu quick back to the 12 hourly chart so that you see it better. So and that was here, this massive, massive uh, W pattern. So and it looks like that we are broke, uh, yeah. So obviously we broke now the neckline of it. So and now look at this. This is a huge target. So that should bring e gold to three hundred twenty-five dollars. So if you would have bought it now at the breakout, all the way up here to the technical target, it would be a thirty percent move. So if you trade this on leverage, let's say with um, 10x, then um, that would be 300% that you would be then in profit. So if you would enter now, what I would not recommend, it would be still 21, uh, 217, 218% on a 10x leverage. So, but what should you do now if you're on the sidelines and waiting here um, and watching the price rising? So for this, I want to go into the one hourly chart. So we have to go here a little bit back into the past to see this. So when we are looking here now into this whole section, then we can see that we are running here right now a little bit into resistance that is here. I'm oh, sorry, I'm really bad in drawing this. So with a line, I'm much better. Up. So here into this resistance level is what we are running into right now. So and it, it is resistance if I zoom in here because it was here support, here we broke the support, here we broke again resistance, here we broke again support, then, then we did both at the same time, here it flipped into support again, here into resistance and since then it's resistance, here resistance, there resistance. So we will come up now soon potentially to test this level again so we actually came already up to test it so you can see guys yeah so we got pretty close to it so we are testing right now this resistance here so own and if you are on the sidelines and you want to take a trade here on EGOT right now, wait for a break above that resistance, a back test, and only when we are moving then back up, that would be where I would take a position here. So then next up, we want to have a quick look into Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is, in my opinion, still not finished with its downwards move. So what happens sometimes is that, um, yeah, the whales try to get you confused. So, and 
I still expect here some further downwards movement to this support area. This support area has to be tested before we can move up here further in my opinion. Also when we are looking at the EMA ribbon, so we are getting close to it but we did not touch it yet. So and here you see that now the upper string of the EMA ribbon is lining up with the top of that uh, support box. So I expect still by today or over the weekend a retest of the ribbon and then a continuous up move here um, to the upside to test here the next bigger resistance zone of $58,000, $60,000 approximately. So, but while we are going down here, it could be that we are also forming here either a bull, yeah, so this would be technically also a bull flag. Let me see also on 12 hours, yeah, on 12 hours the same. So, but it is still a little bit too early. I don't like the candles that are in this bull flag. So I'm not sure if this will break out to the upside. So, but let's just entertain the idea if it would break out to the upside. So then depending when it breaks, we would exactly can come up to test this $58,000 level as resistance. And uh, then most likely we would get rejected in the first attempt. And then um, yeah, go sideways and then try again, like I said yesterday. So, but for now, I still expect a little bit more downside, not much. We are really, really close already to the EMA ribbon and that uh, support zone. So just a small dip here and then up again. Then let's talk about Ethereum. So Ethereum is here holding close. Uh, to the $3,600 level that we actually have to break so that we can move to $4,000. And it looks like that we are might forming here a symmetrical triangle. So and let's have a look where this target would bring us. It will be not that super high, but it will bring us above 3600 so and close to $3,800, $3,780. So here guys, here would be a potential next trade if we stay within that um, yeah, ascending triangle. But it looks like that we might break down and then this pattern would be invalidated. So only if we're breaking to the upside here, this pattern is confirmed. So but it could be also that we have to draw it a little bit like this. So it can go on a little bit more. Yeah, that looks better. Um, yeah, so and that would be then a 4.5% trade. So on 10x leverage, it would be 45%. Guys, don't forget if you want to trade um, my signals that I give you absolutely for free on this channel, then you can go to Bybit where you still get a $600 bonus or to Femex where you get a $1,200 uh, bonus only with my links, guys, only for my community. Don't forget take advantage of this. So now I want to talk about uh, something really, really interesting on Ethereum. And that is the miner balance over time held by miners, um, Ethereum miners. So and here we can see that the last time that miners were holding so much Ethereum was here on the peak in December 2016 where they were holding 680,000, 81,000 Ethereum approximately. And now they are holding 841,000 Ethereum. So and what does this tell us, guys? This is telling us that miners are preparing for higher prices in Ethereum and are betting on that we are seeing a huge increase in price in the next coming months. Otherwise, they would um, obviously sell much more Ethereum like they did in, in the past to stay more profitable, but they don't have to because the price is going up. So they, they can also hold on to more Ethereum and they only do this because obviously they're expecting that we see here a huge explosion in price. Otherwise, they would just sell it off um, yeah, to break even or to uh, bank the profit in US dollar. So we can um, see also the same in Bitcoin. So and you know, guys, I have talked about this many, many times so that here um, the amount of Bitcoins held by exchanges is dramatically decreasing. So you can see here 
They are right now at 13% of the total supply is held by exchanges and the rest, um, yeah, 20% approximately is lost uh, because people lost their keys and the other, um, the other uh, 67% is held on um, wallets in some sort. Um, yeah, some sort of uh, offline or um, on software wallets. So and this is not stopping. You see, we are still going lower. And while we are going lower, the price is going up. So because what has to happen if nobody wants to sell the Bitcoins and they're all holding the Bitcoins, exchanges run out of stock of Bitcoin. So and they have so then the price has to increase to make it um, lucrative and attractive to people to actually sell their bitcoins because they're then in a massive profit and only then exchanges have the chance to get a hold of more bitcoin so and yeah that um that is also a reason why we see the price dramatically going up for bitcoin in um, in the last months especially so uh, guys that's it already for today's video um if you enjoyed this content please Smash up the like button, click the subscribe button, also tick the notification bell to all notifications and I will see you tomorrow.